Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today I have Tricky back, but I have this front end attachment here with the color sensor right there. So today I, Tricky's going to be doing two things. He's going to be a bowler, which is a preset program that comes with um, the building instructions and everything like that. And then for those of you that want to see Tricky do some type of first Lego League type mission, I have that for you too. So if you want to see both, stay with me. Hey guys, this is Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you love robotics and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. So for those of you again that are interested in this inventor kit, this is turning out to be very cool. Um, no, I'm not crossing over and you know strictly going to the inventor. Um, you know, you know me, I'm an EV3 guy at heart. Uh, but just the fact that this thing is brand new, it's just it's cool to see all these different pieces and different sensors and how they, you know, have them placed around the robot. So it's a very cool robot, this Tricky here. So if you've noticed over the past few videos, I've been just using Tricky with different type of attachments. And that's really the cool part. You know, if you just take this one pin out right here, you can basically just pull this whole front part off. And that's the part I like, is you can just, you know, take this in and out, and if you want to reattach it, you just put the pin back in, give it a little bit of a wiggle, and see, it's back in there again, and this thing is solid in there. So it's just one of those neat things where, then you know, as they, um, Lego came up with the instructions for the attachments, it was really cool that this just one red pin right here is keeping all of those attachments secure and safe and solid. You know, it's not like this thing is, um, you know, having any wavering or, you know, having a hard time staying on. So it's a really cool uh, way to keep that attachment in there. So today what I'm gonna do is go ahead and let you see um, just a better look into how this front attachment works. So you can see there, um, I still have this uh, ultrasonic sensor on the back and that's going to be necessary for the bowling program. But I just like that. Isn't that cool? It's kind of like for those old school people, for one of those cassette tape kind of sensors there. But anyway, so Tricky is really cool. So today he's going to be bowling. And then I'm going to split the video up and show you that Tricky can do just a simple type grabbing mission with these front grabbers right there. So let's go ahead and first and get a closer look at Tricky and watch him as a bowler. Okay, everybody, there's Tricky with the front end attachment here, the grabber, and there is the color sensor. So what's going to happen in this case here is I have this red ball. And so what's going to happen is this program um, recognizes the red ball and it's going to grab onto this ball and we're going to be going bowling. So we're going to try to knock over this cup right here and to activate it, it there's a uh, ultrasonic sensor in the back here. And all I do is put my hand in back there. And there we go. So Tricky is a world-class bowler. So that's how this uh, particular program works, where um, it's really cool that this ultrasonic sensor, I love those pieces right there that get that uh, sensor um, in the perfect spot for this to grab onto. Okay, very nice Tricky as a bowler. So now, for those of you that are looking for some type of first Lego League action with Tricky, let me go ahead and show you the program that I, I um, wrote. And just for a simple grab, go out and grab and bring something back mission. You know they do that a lot in first Lego League missions. And be able to see just what that program looks like. For those of you that are just getting started on how would you do a forward how would you program a grab and then just a backwards motion for Tricky? So let's check that out. Okay, let's go ahead and get Tricky with this front end attachment. Let's go ahead and do a program that you might do in like a first Lego League competition. So let's pretend that Tricky is in base right now and we're trying to retrieve this piece here, which is a candle. So what we want to do is just simplify this program. I'm sure there's many different ways to do this program, but here's what I got. Um, we're going to set the movement speed to 
uh, negative 10%. That's what's going to get us going forward. So right now, motors A and B are the ones that are connected to the wheels. And then we're just going to be heading straight for 50 centimeters. Um, this front end attachment right now is hooked into port C right there. So that's what we're going to have for it to grab onto the candle. And then we're going to just do everything in reverse. We're going to come back a little faster. So that's what we got the 50%. We still have those motors A and B that are going to hit the reverse now. And we're coming backwards for the 50 centimeters. So let's go ahead and check that out. And uh, for those of you that are doing first Lego League, this robot goes pretty straight. And we're pretending like it came back to base and brought that there. So this uh, robot, you know, for those of you doing first Lego League, it is, you know, um, legal to use for this year's first Lego League uh, replay challenge. Um, but, you know. You have to be participating in it and right now for a lot of folks like myself, that's just not feasible at the moment. But uh, for those of you having any um, wondering, you know, can this be a first Lego League robot? Yeah, just from the amount of time that I've been able to mess around with it, it's been very responsive to first Lego League type um, missions. So for those of you just wondering how to do a simple forward and using, you know, that medium motor to grab onto things. That's my program. Obviously, it's not the only program. So, you know, I could I simplify it? Yeah, but I'm just getting used to programming like this. Um, my students are programming like this with similar blocks with their VEX VR. But, you know, for the last five years, I've been doing all the EB3, the education programming. So this is definitely brand new for me. Okay, guys, so I am completely just loving everything about Tricky. Um, I'll leave you a link um, at the end of this video to Tricky, you know, making a basketball shot, Tricky being able to line follow, which I thought was very cool, and then Tricky just being able to do many other things that, you know, like I said, when you just pull this one red pin out, how you're able to just, you know, interchange those attachments with Tricky. And I still have to be able, I'm, I'm still trying to work on making Tricky a first Lego League robot by giving him some type of cage and, um, a, a, you know, a similar type motor that you're able to grab things with. So there's just so many possibilities with Tricky right now. And so sorry again for those of you going, hey, Mr. Gina, where's our EV3 videos? Um, I hopefully you like the um, train railroad crossing EV3 robot that I had on yesterday. I really like the fact that, and I apologize for those of you that don't have two ultrasonic sensors. I didn't think about that until I posted that video. I was like, wait a minute, what if you know, what if everybody doesn't have two sensors? So I was thinking maybe some of you could figure out a way of using the touch sensor, maybe put something on a train that would bump the sensor maybe that last car could bump a sensor and let the you know gate to come back up again so sorry guys I do sometimes forget that I do have a lot of sensors and resources more than just what a regular kit would have so sometimes I forget so anyway guys hopefully you're still you know having fun if you're able to be in the class with robotics hopefully you're like my kids being able to have fun with a virtual robot but I'm, I'm going to not lie. It's just never the same. And it's just so much cooler to be able to work with a robot with your hands, being able to find out what works, what doesn't work when you're right there, when your hands are on it. So, you know, I'm hoping, praying, guys, as we get close to this new year, that things will just start to open up, um, you know, and somehow we can salvage this year and get into class. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. 
Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.